now what we will do is we will continue with uh, where we stopped at we had looked at systems and their properties and we had looked at LTI systems and as I had mentioned towards the end of last class we are going to concentrate on a particular sub class of LTI systems namely those systems that are governed by linear constant coefficient difference equations which is the counterpart to linear constant coefficient differential equations. Now, let us look at systems governed by L C C D E. So, what we have been looking at so far is the general case general class of L T A systems. So, we now will focus on a specific sub class. So, we will look at systems whose output y of n is a function of x of n, x of n minus 1 up to x of n minus cap m, y of n minus 1 y of n minus 2 up to y of n minus cap n. So, we are going to look at systems whose output depends only on these samples not on anything else. Even this is too general in particular we do not want f to be an arbitrary function we want f to be the class of linear constant coefficient difference equations. Therefore, in particular we focus on this class. That is we want y of n to be of this form k going from 1 to cap n a k y of n minus k plus k going from 0 to m b k x of n minus k. So, this is the specific form of f that we are interested in. So, this is clearly a linear constant coefficient difference equation and this is the counterpart to systems being described by linear constant coefficient differential equations. There also you saw general systems then you focused on LTA systems and within LTA systems you focused on systems that are governed by linear constant coefficient differential equations. So, this is the counterpart to that. Uh, by the way why did you focus on systems governed by linear constant coefficient differential equations in that course. Why that particular class ok you can solve them you mean you cannot solve systems other than that form ok forget about ease of solving suppose ease of solving is not an issue oh, how can initial conditions cancel out each other I mean there are cases where initial conditions do not I do not know what exactly you mean by cancelling out, but assuming for the moment uh -huh. oh ok. So, you are concentrating on incrementally linear versus this, but in general right why linear no, why is it that you want that is the question right. Yeah, you are about to say something. Uh, 
ok. But suppose there are systems that are non-linear. So, that is again you are coming to your ability to solve them correct. When you say homogeneous I mean particular integral complementary functions all tied to your ability to solve. So, if you take one step back and said okay, I can solve even another class of equations right. Yeah, but then this is subclass there are LTA systems that are not in fact, that is a good uh, question uh, can you give an example of an LTA system in continuous time that is not in the form of a linear constant coefficient differential equation. So, this you must know from what you have learnt already uh, say that again no that is a signal right here we are talking about a system. Can you give me an example of an LTA system that is not governed by a linear constant coefficient differential equation? Because LTA systems that is a larger class, LCCD is a subclass. So, I am asking you to give me a member of something that is LTA, but still not LCCD in continuous time. Again, so these are the kinds of question I want you to have asked or continue to ask even when you see some concept here right. So, the answer is very simple. So, y of t equals x of t minus tau. So, this is a pure delay and this is not a system that belongs to that class. The answer is very simple. I am sure you must have encountered delay in C t all right. So, but still this begs the question as to why are you so much enamored by systems governed by linear constant coefficient differential equations in continuous time and same question will arise in the discrete time as well. So, in, uh, in discrete time among linear time invariant systems we will focus only on this particular subclass all right. Now, just to put this in perspective if you have y of n equals e of n times y of n minus 1 plus x squared of n. So, here what you have is a time varying coefficient this also looks like a difference equation, but here you have a difference equation with time varying coefficients and here you have nonlinearity. Whereas, we are going to focus only on the class of linear constant coefficient difference equations. So, some of these open questions we will revisit later yeah go ahead. So, in the difference equation the question is why is the negative sign there is that the question. Okay, we will later what we will do is we will convert this into the transform domain and the transform that we are talking here is the z transform. So, this is analogous to what was happening in the C t case there you had a linear constant coefficient differential equation and there you looked at the system in the transform domain by taking the Laplace transform. So, same thing we will do here and when you look at this in the transform domain we will talk about uh, why this minus sign this minus sign is not very fundamental 
you can always rewrite this as ck where ck is minus ak that is all. So, the question to ask is under what conditions an LCCDE or rather does an LCCDE represent an LTA system. So, this is an important question to ask. So, I want this to be left as an exercise to you. So, please refer Oppenheim and Wilski. Section 2.4 pages 116 to 127. So, this talks about both continuous time case as well as the discrete time case that is C t and D t are discussed. The C t case is the linear constant coefficient differential equation and the D t case is the linear constant coefficient difference equation. And then Oppenheim and Wilski they work out the continuous time case example in a very detailed manner. And in one of the exercises, the D T case is developed, paralleling exactly what is happening in the C T case. And uh, we will just make note of the conclusion that falls out of this. So, L C C D E plus 0 auxiliary conditions this implies LTI. So, if the input output relationship is described by a linear constant coefficient either differential equation or difference equation that represents an LTA system provided you have 0 auxiliary conditions and L C C D E plus 0 initial conditions this represents causality. So, the other question that you want to ask is not only do you want linearity and time invariance you also want causality. Yeah, go ahead. Yes, no. So, L C C D by itself does not represent an LTA system, that is the point that is made here. Merely the input output relationship being represented by an L C C D does not guarantee an LTI system. L C C D plus 0 auxiliary conditions is when you have LTI plus 0 initial conditions is when you have causality. Does that answer that question? Let me make some brief remarks. I want you to refer to this section and then probably if there are some questions I can always uh, clarify. When you have a linear constant coefficient uh, differential equation to solve that you would solve it first you would solve the homogeneous equation and uh, then you will solve the particular integral. If you have an nth order differential equation the homogeneous equation will have n unknown constants. To pin down the solution uniquely you need auxiliary conditions given to you which help you to evaluate these unknown constants and help you to pin down the solution uniquely all right. If these conditions are not given you cannot find the solution 
to this equation. To help you to get the uh, final solution is why you need these auxiliary conditions. All right. Yes. So auxiliary conditions are not necessarily at what we call as t equal to zero or n equal to zero. They can be specified at any point in time. Uh, initial conditions are auxiliary conditions specified at the origin. So that's why that is tied to causality. Yeah. there is some result that states that connects LTI and causality. I looked up and look that up and get back to you. Yeah, that is why there is a connection between LTI and causality. There is a specific theorem uh, that I will write off the top of my head. I do not recall. I can look it up and get back to you. Uh, linear operators in engineering and science, Naylor and Cell, Springer Verlag. Uh, I, the theorem is there in that book. I need to locate that and uh, discuss what the implications are. All right. So this is something that you need to read upon to make sure you understand why LCCD alone by that input output class alone does not represent an LTI system. You need some more uh, conditions for it to represent an LTI system. And uh, the intuition behind this is for it to be a syst LTI system, zero input has to produce uh, zero output. So, it is tied to that concept here. 